But I said, God, if you will get me through this, I said, I'll give you my life. I said, I'll live for you to the best of my ability to glorify you if you'll just get me through this. And at that moment, my, my life began to change. And so, you know, the healing began. With Riley's death, the one thing that I really, really want people to understand is that uh, there's nothing without being saved. There's nothing without Jesus in your life. There's going to be a lot of sad days ahead, but um, but I'm okay. I mean, it'll everything will be all right. All I know is God's not good just once in a while. He's good all the time. You know, in your bad times, if if you're uh, if you're still out there and your heart's beating, and that means God's not through with you yet. I'm good with, with with where the Lord's leading me and where He's taking my family, and that He's still working. It got bad. It got bad. I lived. I I, I did almost everything on my own. I said, God, I'll do my best to be the best man I can you can help me become a better person out of this situation. This, this can't happen to my family. Or you have the choice of just saying, you know what, God, you're in control. And you're going to have to take care of us because I don't know what to do. Then you keep holding on to those promises. You keep holding on to what you know the Word says, that He's going to take care of you, that He has a plan for you. Everything's He's a sovereign God, and He knows everything is perfect in His timing and in His way, and so you just keep standing on that. He has just been so faithful to us and our family. I mean, to know that God has a plan and to be happy, you know, when we're doing when we're doing His will, because I've tried doing my will and and it constantly backfired. I mean, you don't know what tomorrow is going to bring. You don't know what's what's going to happen, but you you know, as long as you have faith that it's going to be taken care of. Those trials and those challenges are the things that build a strong character that are going to help you to make it through the next, you know, hurdle or the next obstacle. And I knew instantly um, that something was was wrong. It really made me realize that, you know, I'm a, I'm a rodeo for a living and I'm an athlete, but it's not who I am. I'm a I'm a child of God, and that's really who I am. And I just so thankful that, you know, I have that life and that everlasting life.